What's good, YouTube? We're back with another video. Brianna Loren here. Welcome to the channel. You clicked on it, so I know you're interested. So we are talking about boho locks. Four weeks ago, I did a whole hair transformation. This was the first time me ever using boho lock hair. I'm gonna put that video up top. Click on it. Go check it out. You just should. If you're gonna watch this one, go check that one out first. Here's the deal. We're at the four week mark. A Saturday before Mother's Day made four weeks. And I just want to talk to you about the hair, show you the state that it's in. Someone had asked for a two week update and I was like, oh, maybe I'll do that. But I just, time did not permit. The days did not permit. But we're here with the four week update. If you're interested in seeing how this hair looks, my thoughts, my maintenance, Keep on watching. Here are my thoughts, okay? We're at the four week mark. The hair still looks nice and full. The hair still looks nice and thick. Okay, Lulu Pierre, who is the creator of Boho Locks, was talking about how, you know, as you wear the hair, like you might lose some of the volume. But honey, I think the volume is still there. Like legit, I really look like 70s love, peace, and happiness vibes right now. Let's talk about the mermaid lock pieces, okay? Because I have thoughts about this. So basically, the hair came with these little curly, wavy pieces that you could put throughout the hair. I'm trying to find one. Okay, here's one, right? Okay, so it came with these pieces these little individual curly lock pieces. It came with about 20 of them. What I did when I first put the hair in, and you know, you can watch that video, but what I did is right when my girl put these free curly pieces in, I twisted them. And you can see, like I kind of twisted them and just left out the edges because I was like, there's no way this hair is gonna stay this way. like shiny not tangle and I'm really glad that I did that because I had to like cut out some of the other ones because it just it just looked like ratty and I'm not into ratty hair and like it's funny my husband will be like that looks ratty like what's going on he's like you should cut that out so I had cut it out that's what I did with mine I just twisted them up two strand twist just because I just thought longevity wise and you don't really get enough to like reuse like 20 of them let we can make that 40 Lulu we can make that 40 30 or 40 pieces of the wavy hair would be dope because even my front pieces that my girl individually wrapped like they're okay but if I want to redo them I have no wavy hair to redo them. I have more than enough locks, but I don't have that wavy hair and I would have wanted a little bit more of the wavy hair to be able to redo my front, like put some new wavy hair pieces in it. So of course I go on the website and I'm like, all right, well, let me just buy an individual pack of wavy hair and you can't, like, why can't you? I don't, I don't get that. Like to me, I should be able to buy individually everything that comes with that pack of hair. So I was able to get an extra pack of bundles. Like if I want extra accessories, which I did put some of the accessories in my hair. I really like the ring ones. And then I have a couple of these gold ones in there. Like if I want more of those, I would like to be able to buy those individually. But the wavy hair, you, you can't buy individually. So I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Because now if I want to reuse this hair, you're telling me I have to buy a whole new pack of hair for $177 just to get the wavy pack hair. And I think that kind of defeats the purpose for reusable locks. Like these are in really good condition. I am going to keep them in probably for another four weeks just because they're staying in really, really good shape. And they say you can keep them up to 12 weeks. But the fact that I can't get a wavy pack of hair to like put in with this, it's a little upsetting. Next on to like what products I use on this hair. I don't use anything on this hair. I have put nothing on this hair. So I'm just going to show you guys. I literally have just put extent the little accessories in them. Nothing is in this hair. I don't put mousse on it, I haven't put oil on it, and I think 
that is dope because that's even more low maintenance for me and like the lower the maintenance the better the only thing that i do with this hair is i do go in and i separate it at night so that is one thing that they did say you kind of just want to go in and i kind of just finger comb the hair just because i do see that you know it's lock hair and it can lock so I do, I'll just kind of do exactly what I'm doing here, like before I go to bed, run my fingers through it. I'll like flip it over and kind of like run my fingers through it. And then I go to sleep and I put it just up in like a high bun because um, I can't sleep with these in a low ponytail. They said a low bun on the website. Mm -mm. My neck, I can't do it. I finger detangle them every day and i've been wearing them just in like different styles i'll wear them to the side i'll wear it all up i'll do a half up half down and i like that because you can kind of just play with the different styles of this hair one thing that i do do <laughs> one thing that i do do i do uh use dry shampoo on my scalp just to kind of help with the itching. I don't wet this hair and I have not washed my hair. So it's dry shampoo, I do an oil throughout my whole scalp, and I'll just kind of gel down the baby hairs in the front and that's it. It's really kept very well at the four week mark. So just those little things, you know, like I wish I could buy a single pack of the Wavy Mermaid hair. You don't have to put anything on this. I haven't put water on it. I have not put mousse on it, no gel on it. And the hair is really in a beautiful place. And I'm really grateful for that because I was looking for another way to do crochet braids, but that's something that just lasted. It looked more like hair. It was full. I am enjoying the color of this hair so much. Like it's my favorite so yeah that is a quick little update i will come back again at the four week mark i'm gonna do another four weeks okay i can do that i can't do the two weeks i could do four weeks but yes i already know i'm going to repurchase this hair i think the main thing will be will i reuse this hair that's the main question and uh i just want to see how they kind of come out and if they're still in a good state i'll reuse it but knowing me, I'll still buy a new pack of hair just to get the mermaid wavy hair. I'm gonna write a letter. I'm gonna write a letter to them and be like, listen, this hair is great, but you gotta accommodate the customer. If these are reusable, give us the reusable wavy hair, please. That's my final thoughts. Let me know if you've used this hair before. Let me know if you have any other questions about the hair, like I said. It's in its natural state. I have not put anything on it. I don't do anything to it and it's chilling. It's vibing. I like it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs this video up if you've used boho locks. Leave a comment below if you agree that you should be able to buy a single pack of wavy hair. Maybe we should start a position. I will see you in my next video. Peace out Cub Scouts.